What did you say? Be careful. You say that magic word and that's it. You're out. Harvey, what happened? We have to be out there in seven minutes. A damn speeding ticket. Okay, we can't be late for opening game. Let's move it, guys. Come on. Busy winter, Harvey? Yeah, I did the World Series again. I went over to Japan with the All-Stars and uh, did three fantasy camps. That was your vacation, huh? <laughs> yeah, and then on my off days, I would put on a tape and practice my calls. I've always got the rule book right by my bedside. You're right. I forgot to ask you, how's Judy doing? Uh, Judy's, uh, Judy's fine. That's fine. Actually, uh, Judy left me. Which I'm sure she's fine. I'm sorry to hear that. So was I, what are you gonna do? Tie goes to run. No, grind she was talking about. That was when I was always traveling. Hey, Joe. First and second, one out. Pop up for the shortstop. You feel fly rule. Batter's out. Yeah! <laughs> I like this kid. He's crazy, and he idolizes me. Feels like a trial separation, huh? Nope, yesterday's box score. Hey, how about you? Let me hear your strike call. Yeah. Strike! Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not very decisive. You know, you gotta snap that call. Hi! I don't know, maybe I. Maybe I've lost it. Nah. <laughs> Get you behind the desk for a couple of days, you'll be in mid season form. Hey! Did you catch my call at the plate in last year's game four? <laughs> Goddamn money call. Actually, I, um, I didn't watch the series. Yeah, you didn't watch the series. What, were you sick? No, I just, uh, wasn't that interested. I don't know what to say about that, Frank. I mean, it's like not being interested in Christmas. Well, well this past winter, I, uh, a little soul searching, you know? I'm, we get our heads so wrapped up in baseball, we don't always see the big picture, you know? You know, like, like, what's happened in the Middle East? What? The atrocities, Harv. It's always gone on. Come on, we gotta get going. I, I know, I know, I know, you know, horrors are happening every day, you know, in the Middle East, hey. here, for God's sake, but, you know, we, we know nothing about them. Do you feel better now that you know about them? It's not about feeling better, Harv. It's, it's about, it's about knowing. Frank. I've always known you to be a predictable, unimaginative man. Well, at least till now. You're right. Remember that, that call I blew at second, Jay's Orioles? You didn't blow that call. Yeah, I blew the call. I checked the tapes, Harb, okay? I just, I was screened out of the play. I called the guy safe because I thought he looked safe. I blow a call, it's forgotten my morning. Yeah, well, this one could have ended the game. Instead, the next batter comes up, hits a home run off of Ashby, Jays lose. <laughs> Jays are gonna win another game. Well, Ashby won't, being that he's dead. You're out. Dead? Where'd he win? I guess you were in Japan. He's a good kid, Don Ashby. Yeah. Never beefed about a call, always kept his nose clean. Was it drugs? He killed himself. Jeez, oh, people nowadays, you know, they don't go for that kind of stuff. That's just Harv, a the kid was depressed because he felt like he let everybody down because I blew the call. You're oh, so that's what this is about. Yeah. I was screamed out at second, now he's dead. But look, if you can't handle the heat, you shouldn't be out on the mound in the first place. The kid was just trying to make a living. Look, this is more than a living, it's a game with rules and consequences. Like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We never lose. We never win. We just watch. That's it. Watch and decide the outcomes of other people's lives. <laughs> you can't be thinking about life and death up there. The play's the only thing. I'm not so sure I believe that anymore. Hey, now that's loser talk. If you haven't got the desire, I don't want you on this team. Look, I like a call against the home team. Maybe some, some disgruntled fan goes home and beats his wife. Mm. I punch out some broken down player on an iffy third strike. Maybe his career is over. I can't afford to be wrong, Harvey. Frank, keep it down. You're gonna upset the kid. The kid has to know. He has to know about the curse of absolute power. That's enough, Frank. Stop it. 
Two minutes, guys. Hey, what's the matter? No, here, come on. Quick group hug, Frank. Come on. Don't you ever feel it? Huh? The awful responsibility? No, I don't feel it. I don't allow myself to feel it. An umpire doesn't feel. It's only human, Harvey. Jason, we're not human. Look at Joe. You think he's human? I'm a robot, man. All I care about is this game. You're out! That's it. That's all that anybody expects from me. Is that all Judy expected? <sighs> Look, Judy didn't understand baseball. And I feel sorry for her. But that's all I feel. I've got my priorities set, and that's why I'm one of the best in the league. Yeah, well, I'm just an ordinary, unimportant man. Who the hell am I to judge others? Who the hell are you not to judge? You're an umpire, for God's sake. You've taken an unspoken oath. It is your moral obligation to seek out the truth, that to find if that person is safe, if that person is out. You're the one who puts order and logic into the chaotic world. You! It's God's work, my friend. And he's called you to do it, and do it you must. Now, let me hear you strike, Paul. Strike! Oh, come on, Frank. It's the bottom of the ninth. Base is loaded, full count. Griffey's at the plate, and Clemens throws a fastball down the black, and Griffey freezes. What's your call? Strike! Yeah, again! Strike! Goddamn right! I eat! Yeah! Strike! That's it. All we need is a little focus and a little heart. Now let's go and kick some ass! Oh.